Um, how are you? Are you ready for more poems? Yeah! Okay, great. So first of all, I'm Demi. I'm a white woman with very red hair. I dyed it today. Shorter in stature. Um, Clothes-wise, I'm wearing some trousers. The jury is a bit out on them, but I, I like them. They are half white, half black, one pound leg of each. I have a black top, black boots, my she girl's wristband, and I'm, I'm ready for you. <laughs> are you ready for a poem? Yeah! Okay. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Did you hear about mom? Did you hear about the time that mom danced all night in Prague? She was in love with a saxophone player, and by proxy, all saxophone players, jazz made her feel alive and warm, even as snow fell on cobbled roads, and she and Paulina left faint trails with their boots on wet stones. There's a video, you know the one. Mom struts through the empty street, sheds her gloves, throws her raincoat to the floor. There are more, 35 millimeter scans from the trip to Lanzarote where she slept in a blood red yurt, feeling the color would soothe her yearning heart and hiked across black rocks while waves crashed White Adidas, ash-caked, mustard dress, flapping wild. The route brought her to a lava cave. Lavish and romantic. And she ate alone while listening to, you guessed it, saxophone. There are photos from home. Velvet coat and orange scarf draped just so clearly hung over in last night's patent leather shoes. Full of style, the year she worked for the fast fashion conglomerate and nearly stayed on just to stock her wardrobe. The year she almost killed herself, ideating, calculating force, F equals M times A, where M is mass and A, acceleration of trams and trains and small German automobiles. She was glad she didn't kill herself the night she met the guy who looked like David Bowie with decent coke and a perfect body and a grin she swears to God could make the Sahara Desert wet. <laughs> there aren't pictures of that. Yeah. But there's a video from mom's first trip to Italy. She's on the back of Aunt Lisa's Vespa, hair flying, helmet shiny pink. Mom was glad then she hadn't jumped in front of the train in Milan. Mom was glad a lot, even in her Lori Anderson, post Lou Reed, melancholy, her splintered phone screen days, her delayed flights and summer lakeside breakup despair, lobster red sunburn, blame it on the mushrooms days. Mom was glad at Schloss Schönbrunn to have no one else to care for, to stroll the grounds at her leisure, to wear a red beret, and in Venice, to celebrate her own birth without witness, to celebrate by crying in cathedrals and smiling at the boats. Mom trusted strangers and she floated through house parties and she often chose to walk the last blocks home, to talk to herself, to commit to memory. Mom did a lot of things you wouldn't believe thought, a lot of thoughts she probably wouldn't dare repeat, but she did. She did write it all down. 